Hi guys, I hope you're all safe and well. For today's video, I am going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos. I get a lot of questions about kind of the apps that I use and stuff and the filters that I use to get my Instagram how it is. Um, so yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the apps I use and how I make all my photos kind of look the same and look nice on my feed. I'm gonna be using my iPad. Um, I sometimes use my iPad just because I think it's easier because it's bigger. Uh, it means you can kind of see everything better. Or sometimes I use my phone. I'm filming with my phone today, so obviously I can't use my phone. What? So the first app I use is I go into Facetune 2. So these are some photos that I took earlier um, that I'll probably upload on Instagram later. So the first thing I do is I go into Edit. Sometimes, depending on if the photo is a bright photo or a dark photo, I will like change the brightness. I don't think this one really needs to be changed, so I'm not going to change it. Um, then I'll go into contrast and we'll bring up the contrast a little bit, kind of maybe up to like 10. Uh, the next thing I do, which I, I think is really important, is I go into sharpen and I just sharpen the photo a little bit. It just makes it a bit more, like, high, makes it look a bit more high quality, I feel like. Again, depending on if the photo is light, I'll go into light and lighten it up a little bit. I think this one I will just a tiny bit because the background looks quite dark. So I might take that up to 20. I'll go into shadows and sometimes I'll bring the shadows down a tiny bit. So if you click this little button in the corner as well, this one down here, you can see the before and after of your photo, so you can just see, like, it's not much difference, it's just a tiny difference, but it does look better. Um, sometimes I'll go into highlights and change them, but I don't think they need to on this one. Change the temperature, so I think I might put the temperature up a little bit. Just makes me look a bit more tanned. <laughs> makes me look a bit more healthy, so yeah, I'll do that with that. And then I'll just click the tick, and that'll save that, and you can then see with clicking that button again, the difference. Okay, and then the next thing I'll do is I'll go into retouch. Now, I used to whiten the back of my photos loads um, with the whitening tool, but I don't do that so much anymore. But with a photo like this, I will probably still whiten it, just not bring it up all the way. You can zoom in and out as well. It makes it a lot easier to get in all the little bits. There we go, so that's just the whitening done. And you can see it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. I actually might turn it down a little bit. Bit. Yeah, so it just makes it look a little bit cleaner because I find that after you use the temperature tool, um, it makes the background a lot more yellow. So I don't want the background yellow, I just wanted myself more tan. So doing that just makes it a little bit more clean. Um, sometimes I'll go into smooth, I'm not going to lie, I do smooth out my spots if I have them. Um, I just don't like the look of them, but um, today I don't, which I'm quite glad, <laughs> so I don't have to smooth in any of those out today. I might actually just, um, my jumper isn't very ironed, so I might actually just smooth in the jumper a little bit. So again, it's just like the tiniest difference. But And then I'll go into details, and I really like this one. So I will literally zoom right in, wow, there's my face, <laughs> um, and just like go over my eyes and eyebrows, so you can see if I click that, that's what I've done. Just because it makes them stand out a little bit more. I'll then go over my nose piercings, but that's it. Because I just want them to stand out. Sometimes I'll go over my lips as well. Um, and any jewelry I have on really, anything I want to show. So the zip, um, the bracelets. So then just those blue bits are the bits that I've done there. Um, and yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference. It makes my eyebrows stand out a lot more. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, sometimes as well, I'll go in with the whiten that I've just used on the background and just whiten up the white parts of my eyes a little bit. Again, because I feel like doing some of the editing at the beginning takes away some of the white, so it just whitens them up and makes them look a bit more bright. Depending on what I'm wearing, so obviously today I'm wearing a very bright top. I'll go into Vibrant and just colour that in because I want it to stand out or if you're wearing kind of, you know, bright clothing or clothing that you want to stand out as more of an outfit photo, just brightening it up, I'll obviously turn it down, this is a bit crazy, but just brightening it up a little bit can make such a difference. So that's obviously crazy. Um, I'm just gonna turn it down just to a little bit so you can see it just makes it slightly brighter, maybe a little bit more down, there you go makes a little bit of a difference, makes it stand out a bit. So then I will tick that. 
That is the last thing I will do on Facetune. So I will just go to camera roll, save to camera roll. And then the next app I will use, I'll switch over to my phone screen because I don't have that one on my iPad. So the next app, that I go into, it's called Colour Tone. Now, yep, yeah, these are all my photos. I took loads. Um, that's what I do to get a good photo in. Uh, I go into Favourites, because I saved it in my Favourites. This is the photo that I just saved from Facetune 2. So now I go into this and click Edit. And then I just click the coloured boxes at the bottom and just click Maldives, which is a free one, so which is good. Obviously, that is crazy. So I turn it down to around 50, uh, depending on the photo. Obviously, some photos are different. This one, I've done a little bit below 50. Um, and then just tap off of it and I click save, which just saves it to the app, not to your phone. And then the little export button and then it save it to camera roll. Um, so that is basically all I do to edit my Instagram photos. Um, it's nothing crazy. It's really easy to do. I just like the way that it then all looks the same and kind of fits in together. Yeah, so that was just a really, really quick video um, to show you how to do that. But I really hope you enjoyed. If you are new here, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you very soon. Bye.